Hey guys, Gaming Breakman here. This video is going to cover a lot of different topics, so stick with me or GTFO! A few videos ago, I uploaded a video up onto my Gimme a Flake Man channel, which is my response channel, which a lot of people apparently prefer to this channel, so if you, if you don't like me on this channel, go to that channel and sub to that. I don't do any editing over there, I just respond to other people. And you can see how dumb I really am, because I don't have time to prepare. I just, you know, it's talk out of my butt. That's where I talk out of my butt, you know. If you like that kind of stuff, go over there and check it out. Anyway, I was over there and I uploaded a video and it wouldn't uh, show. You know, I was up, I switched over to my Give Me a Flake, Give Me a Breakman channel and I couldn't see that video and I was like, what's wrong, you know? So, you know, that's how I talked to myself. Hey, what's wrong, man? And he's like, I don't know. Uh, let's, let's fiddle with the tags. So I fiddled with the tags and then it became available. You know, it was showing that this video is unavailable notice. So when I clicked on it. So apparently, if you're having trouble, I've noticed a lot of people, a lot of the videos that I'm watching, you know, sometimes they'll appear in my subscription box, but it'll be unavailable. So what I suggest those all of you to do is as soon as you upload your video, just fiddle with the tags a little bit. And YouTube, fix that! And fix the mail system, because the mail system still sucks! Okay, next. Uh, for those of you who are interested in this, Coffee Dude 65 I went over to his page and I noticed there was an advertisement on the right-hand side and I thought, cool, he's a partner, hey, congratulations, and I left a comment. And he said, no, it's because he used that music exchange thing that you have. You know, you can swap, music swap, or whatever. So if you're one of those people who really cares about having advertisements on your videos and you don't want to do that, then don't use mu music swap. Apparently that that uh, that's bad. And I've also heard that if you use that music swap kind of stuff, YouTube can actually... Um, warn you of having a copyright violation. And that's screwy, but you know, it's YouTube, so. Apparently, the way you use YouTube is, you know, you just, you learn how to use YouTube by using it. And that's how you figure stuff out. Just keep fiddling with it, and you'll find out what the boundaries of this website is. Uh, boundaries are. Yeah, I'm an English teacher. Okay. Speaking of copyright issues, this is amazing. And Sean Bedlam had his video pulled for copyright infringement because uh, apparently a Mexican company complained that it was a copyright infringement and YouTube without even looking at it pulled it. Now what was in the video that was copyright? Nothing. It's just good old Sean creating poetry out of four letter words, you know, which is why I love watching him. Uh, he's also a, quite intelligent. I hear he hates Americans, but you know, I don't really take it personally. And if you like a good laugh and you like to think a little bit and you like funny faces kind of stuff, except he does it better. Uh, then go check out Sean Bedlam and watch that video about how his video got pulled for copyright. Now, why am I mentioning this? Well, this is bad because people are going to abuse this. People are going to start just claiming copyright infringement with videos they don't like just to get them pulled. And YouTube's got to take care of that because that's not good. Speaking of abusing systems, GNR1234 got spam, got spam, no, got banned. Now, 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 he's a spammer. I know what you're thinking. If you know who he is, you're thinking, oh, that guy, he's always spamming. I hate spammers. Oh, no, 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 well, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you know. One, one day, you're going to have to decide, where, where do you stand on the spamming line? If you're going to be for it, you've got to be for it across the board. If you're going to be against it, you got to be against it across the board. So I'm against it across the board. But, you know, like the Christians say, hate the, hate the spam, not the spammer. So... Yeah, I, um, GNR1234 got, got banned. How did he get banned? He told me, this is coming from the horse's mouth, that another user called Salmon5748, Salmon, that was bad of you, told all of his, sent out a bulletin to all his viewers. I don't know how many subs this, I don't even know who this guy is, but, to, but, but this is the point. He got everyone to flag his channel and it got banned. And that's wrong. Now, MGM, Mr. Guitar Man, told me last year this happened to him. If that's true, that's bad, and that should not be happening. And I'm going to drink my coffee now. So YouTube's got to do something about that. Yes, you can't let people abuse the system. I keep getting a lot of emails about downloading videos. Victor, how do you download videos and you put them inside your video? That's cool. How do you do that? Uh, can you help me? Um, well, I can help you if you got a Macintosh, and this is what I suggest. Go to your, if you got a Macintosh, uh, but, but wait, if you don't have a Mac, hold on, because i got something for you, too. If you got a Mac, go to Command Option A, and another window will open, and all these lists of things will come down, and look for the, the, um, the, there will be a list of files and stuff that will open up in a little window that you've probably never seen before. It's called a download window. And look for the biggest one, the biggest one that probably, they'll all, they'll all probably say KB, which is kilobytes. I think, 
And then one of them will say, will say MB. It might be like just 1.7 if it's a really small video, or it could be like up to you know even 120, like if you try downloading the Angry Aussie 50-minute video. Anyway, then you click on that, and it will automatically start downloading an FLV file onto your desktop. <clears throat> At that point, it's an FLV file. If you've got FLV uh, viewable um, software that you can use to watch FLV, no problem. If you don't, uh, F VLC apparently works with FLV now, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave links. Um, <clears throat> And if you cannot see the FLV file, you'll need to convert it. And what I use is iSquint, which is a free download for Macintosh. I don't, and it's used to make uh, convert files like WMV files and FLV files into MP4 files so you can watch on your iPod. And it's very easy. I'll leave a link there. And yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I'll try to leave detailed instructions there. Okay. And if you have a, if you're a Windows guy, because I'm a Mac guy, if you're a Windows guy, then go to Jimmy R. Com and sub to him and watch this video that I'll leave a link to which tells you how to download videos and put them into your own videos. Jimmy Arcom is a great tutorial video maker very smart guy, very useful and he will help you make better videos and learn how to and teach you how to use your computer and the internet and YouTube better. So check him out. Okay, the last thing I want to tell you is kind of weird. Um, a lot of people, including myself, have been making video responses to people who are just unworthy of video responses. Not exactly the people, but the video. Jesus Freak, Yoke Up, other people I won't even mention. Uh, I did this. Bella the Happy Loser has done this. Emendum, you've done this. Steph Stance has done this. We make video responses to people who are really have no intention, in at least in that video, of communicating with anyone. They just want to cause a lot of drama and get a lot of ridiculous video responses that easily refute their ridiculous arguments. And it's just silly. It's, you know, there's not a lot of time in life. Let's stop wasting it on people who have no real intention of communicating with us. Really, there's so many people out there who make videos that really deserve video responses. So what I would, what I'm thinking is, I'm going to start going on to people who make ridiculous videos and just writing unworthy of video response. UVR. This video is unworthy of video response. And I suggest you do the same. And I'm going to end this video with a clip of a video that I took when someone gave me a funny pair of glasses. And I was really frustrated at all the ridiculous video responses that I was seeing in my inbox last week. And with that, see you later. Talk to you soon. YouTube, I come to you pissed off today because I'm seeing too many people wasting their time video responding to people who do not deserve a video response. Who am I talking about? I got examples, okay? Like that guy Jesus Freak 77 made a video trying to, to tell us that, that Christians have contributed more to society than atheists. Like it makes a difference. Like people get together and think, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate this in the name of Jesus. Like it makes a difference. And then Yoka making a video saying that atheists don't exist. It's pissing me off, guys. And what are you doing? You're encouraging them by making video responses to these. No, 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 they're not idiots, but those videos were stupid. Maybe they are idiots, I don't know. But stop encouraging people by making video responses. Please join me in video response boycott. Next time you come to a video that's so stupid, that it, it's just so easy to prune them. I hate that word. Prune them by making a video response. Don't do it. Resist the urge. It's too. No, please don't do it. Just type. On the computer, type video response boycott. Or this video is so stupid, it does not deserve a video response. Give a comment, give a comment for all the trouble, okay? But don't make 44 video responses to an idiot who doesn't deserve one. And there's lots more. I mean, I'm not talking, I'm not saying the users themselves are not worthy of watching. I'm not saying unsubscribe from them. I'm just saying stop making video responses to stupid videos. Please!